You see, the reality is, I woke up one morning as a middle-aged dad in suburban Detroit thinking somebody's got to say something. And so I set out on this journey with nothing but a camera and 20 questions. And the rest, well... Ask yourself, who am I? What do I want? Where does infinity end? Where are you going? Do I have a soul? <sighs> what is the meaning of life? What are we all so afraid of? What happens to me when I die? When you die, we don't know for sure that there is an afterlife. This assumption has created enormous pain and suffering to human beings on this planet. I'm not sure that heaven exists, and I, I don't think I really care. Anything that I do is not good enough to get me into heaven. We're afraid we're not good enough. We're afraid we're not worthy. We're, we're afraid we're not worth it. I don't think I'm worth it. <laughs> Fear is like a plague. It's like a disease. And it has its way to infiltrate people's minds. Sometimes we institutionalize our dualistic thinking. We call it religion. And then we go to war. The world religions have an important role. They themselves have been a, a principal source of violence. Just imagine for a moment, God loves you. God is make-believe. God is fairy tales. God is certainly not a dead white male in the sky. The real goal is something much more amazing, you know? It's much more fantastic. Describe God? Oh. <laughs> Are you quick? We're going to go for the Allah Rahman, God the Merciful. Nahnu kulluna muwahadun. East, west, north, south, up and down. It is our work who bring this next level of evolution into being.